isn't good. Well, I'm glad we you brought the spirit's voice back. Finally figured it out. Only took forever. Jeez. No more puzzles, please. No more puzzles. I'd rather beat on machines. Okay. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Okay, tell me about Silence. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Hmm. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. Okay, communion. You had a communion with the spirit. Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Uh, but what is the spirit? Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form, harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world, and the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. Okay. The daemon. What do you know about it? 
I spoke with the spirit many times, first here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes, something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. Mm. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You returned? You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Okay, now we asked about silence earlier, but it's not great out, so... Let me see if she has anything new to say. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Okay. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. <laughs> <laughs> There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter, and I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. <laughs> right? Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werex attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend, Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Uh-oh. New weapon? A new weapon? Take the Storm Slinger. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna look at that. We got some other things to look at here too. Let's look at that last. Uh, pick that up. Huh. A little figure of some strange animal. Figurine two of six, animal figurine four. 
depicts a looming impressive animal inscribed four of seven in a commemorative set circuits 2042 montana recreations trade at hollow hall for valuable resources okay let's look at this data point data point 11 and 25 incommensurable Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Okay. Personal log. I had an argument with Kenny this afternoon. When a couple's first fights first fight hinges on the Turing Act, you know you're dealing with some real sexy nerds. I won the argument, I guess, but I'm less concerned whether or not I can pull this off than with the ethical implications of succeeding. I promise Kenny that the suite of coping me mechanisms I've designed will help manage any emotional fallout from the software, but privately, I'm less confident. I'm a programmer, not a shrink. The minutes of robothic, the, the minutia of robothic, robo ethics do start to seem less relevant when a refusal to supply a fire break with the necessary conditions for its success comes at the cost of millions of lives. It's worth putting one consciousness at risk to save so many others, isn't it? Ugh, trying to solve this with numbers makes me feel like a sociopath. Okay. Any other goodies in here before we look at this weapon? thought there was something else, but maybe not. bunker door all right let's go look at this weapon pick up a new storm singer weapon box Ooh, six blue gleam took the shaman's path wow that's a lot of experience all right let's oops let's see what she's got here the new quest for the Warwick. Prove yourself to the Warwick. But let's look at this side quest. The only way for Aloy to access Thunder's Drum and learn its secrets is to challenge Air Attack to a hunting expedition, a hunting competition. The winner gains control of the Warwick and the pass to the mountain. Whoa, you get a whole bunch of goodies for that. Complete a trial at the hunting grounds. Oh, no. Clear out the bandit camp. Complete two of the following objectives. Gather pigments and deliver them to Sekuli. I think I'd rather clear out the bandit camp and gather pigments <laughs> than worry about the hunting grounds. But we'll see. Spear modification box, blue gleam. We might have to check that out. Where is that on the map? Okay, it's all the way up there. But it's not that far since we're right here. We might have to go take care of that. All right, and now let's go to our inventory. That's the figurine we found. The nuke storm slinger, storm bolts. Take all that. Modification outfit weave. All right, let's tutorial on how to use this. Shock machines weak to shock damage using storm bolts like stalkers and long legs. Tutorial, Banuk Storm Slinger. You have acquired a powerful new weapon, the Banuk Storm Slinger, capable of firing new ammunition types. This combat challenge will help you learn its utility and hone your skills. Okay. Increase the size of your Storm Slinger ammo pouch. 
Okay, let's go ahead and increase that. Now we need some squirrel bone. Lastly, rattler. Weapon satchel. Increases weapon inventory capacity to 20. Why do we need that, I wonder? Um, we're gonna wait. We need some fish bone for that. Outfit capacity. All right, we need echo shell to, to craft these storm bolts. So we're not gonna be able to use that weapon anytime soon. Put a mod on here already though. We could put, nope, um, let's modify it. Shock, shock, handling goes up. Quite a bit. But let's equip it with shock. So maybe if we go find, take on that quest that was referencing. Uh, not that one. This one. Maybe we can get a new spear. Okay, let's see if she has anything new to say. Aloy. I did something that will help get the attention of the wearer. I did? I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. Oh, yeah, I did. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Werek will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. Okay. How's Aratok going to react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Okay. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warrick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. Okay, the bandits. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banaur to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Asaram has equipped a gang in the plume lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. Okay, Sakuli. You mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time and any aid you give her will be remembered. Okay. Thank you. I need to get going. There is much to be done. All right, that was good. I'm glad we went back and talked to her. Let's, let's leave now. Go see about finding this rail that we need. Oh, it's bright. So bright. <sighs> Feels like if I blink, my eyes will freeze shut. Uh, let's see. That drop will definitely kill me so let's leap over here Uh, 
Okay, let's... I think those are all gonna kill me. I don't see any other way. Let's just jump down. It's frosty up here. slide down that probably let's see where are we going around uh, oh wait a minute what other machines are over here that looks like a machine I don't want to have to deal with All right, let's jump and see. See what happens. Oh. Okay, right into the charger location, but they don't seem to be concerned. Let's see. We're gonna need some more echo. I don't think chargers give off echo. Of course, it would be the last one I come across. No, no echo. So we're not going to bother with them if we can get away with it. Going down there. Come on over here. So you can move out my way. Do they give off Echo? No. All right, going to avoid them. Let's keep moving. Sure, I'm 
making a lot of noise. Scrapper. Something sees me. Sawtooth. over here come on you know you want to alerted everybody. Everybody's like, whoa, okay. There's some noise over here. You see nothing. Go on back to your business. It's okay. Let us continue. Shh, be very quiet. Quiet. Another frost claw. 